This is Christina. She fell in love with... Mark. Despite being in love with Mark, Christina also found she had eyes for other men. Eyes for other men, you say? Well, how unusual is that, guys, right? I mean, here we are again on the internet here in the present day, and we're watching another one of these stupid lifestyle channel videos trying to normalize having a completely backwards marriage. How are they going to show us a video of this guy right here, okay? This guy on your screen and try to tell us that this man is happy right here. Look at the look on his face right now. Not a single ounce of life anywhere to be found in this guy. Absolutely soulless. I've seen more life coming out of this guy lately. And that's saying a lot. Yeah, so I've struggled with monogamy my whole life. Ever since I was a little girl and had boyfriends in grade school, I would have multiple boyfriends at the same time. And then I cheated on him with like four guys. I was always open and honest about it. Um, and just monogamy's not natural for me. Oh shit, here we go again. Well, I'm officially sick to my stomach. All right, fellas, welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about what happens when you marry a cheater and what happens when you allow this kind of lunacy into your life. We've seen similar cases like this before, but I don't know if it's ever been this bad, man. This, this, this one is just... It's really, really bad. So buckle up. It's going to be a time, all right? If you guys are new, make sure you subscribe right now or else you have a very high chance of having a small dick. And also turn on your goddamn notifications so that you can be a part of the buzz every single time a new video goes live. And last but not least, of course, watch the entire video. Don't be a bitch. Now, fellas, let me give you a quick backstory for exactly how these two people got here. So they knew each other way back in middle school and high school. And apparently he tried to get with her back then, but... She rejected him. And then once they were older, they ran into each other at a bar somewhere or something and probably ended up fucking. And all of a sudden, their boyfriend and girlfriend. And now, as they're dating, she starts cheating on him with four or five other dudes. And obviously, the man is devastated and upset. He goes into that in this clip here. When I found out, um, it was very devastating for me because at that time, um, I could have been monogamous with her the rest of my life because I, I loved her like that. I was heartbroken to say the least about it because I, I, I started thinking, oh, maybe I'm not good enough for her. So what would you guys do in that scenario? I have a feeling you would do the same thing I would do, which is leave immediately and never look back because cheating is something that there needs to just be a zero tolerance policy for. But instead of leaving like a normal person like we would do, he ended up marrying her. I mean, <laughs> what's the worst that could happen, right? What? You continue to get cheated on the entire time? Well, that's not fair to her, guys, okay? Monogamy is not natural for her. She said it herself. Monogamy is not natural for me. Um, for me, it was just, I just want, I just desired to be with other men. And then I would feel super guilty about it. Um, and I've, I, I have done that with every relationship. When I try to be monogamous, I am not the happiest person in the world. I'm kind of like bitchy. He sees like, I'm just so much yeah, happier. Point, right? Yeah, you wish you would have done this years ago, right? Right. I don't know how you could say that with a straight fucking face. I really don't. This is absolutely mental. It was hard for him to accept that like, I was only in love with him and only wanted to be with him forever, but yet right. wanting other man yeah. men. That was, that so was it took tough. a little while that, for you to like, to really comprehend that. It was, it was tough at first, but now I get it. And I'm totally on board and I love it now. <laughs> yeah, no you don't. But the pair found that their new relationship choices were not received well by friends and family. I said, oh really? I said, oh, swinging. Yeah. The family, they found out on TikTok and what they did was go around to everybody else and talk about us behind our back. Oh. Oh, TikTok. Okay, now this is actually starting to make some sense a little bit here, right? I mean, what kind of grown adults in their 30s are using TikTok, especially to talk about very personal details of their sex lives on an app that's primarily used by teenagers and young kids and trying to make people think that this is not like the use of TikTok tells you most of what you need to know. Now, fellas, if you thought this was as bad as it gets, just think again, okay? It always gets worse. Remember that. But before we continue on, we're going to have a very quick word from today's video sponsor. Check it out. Guys, I know as dudes, we don't have a whole ton of options when it comes to improving our physical appearance, but one of the easiest things that you can do is developing and maintaining a skincare routine to look and feel amazing 
which is why I've once again teamed up with Tej Hanley to sponsor today's video. These dudes are great. They really are. They've been sending me a box of products every single month since November of 2021. And I am not kidding you when I tell you my skin on my face has never, ever looked better. And even my wife is jealous. She wants to use the stuff too. She told me I look five years younger and that is not an easy thing to accomplish. Tej helped me start and maintain the routine by making the entire process uncomplicated it's what they do and for guys like us it really is the best system out there if you're just getting started i would recommend that you start with the level one system which comes with all of the basics one daily face wash a two times per week exfoliating scrub one a moisturizer with spf 20 because you should always be protecting your skin from the sun that's something a lot of us forget about and a pm moisturizer to help your skin stay hydrated and healthy throughout the night now one of the best parts about the box is that it comes with a card that tells you exactly how much of each product to use and in what order they really do make it so easy for us and after using this stuff for several months here their products have made my skin look and feel better than it ever has and you don't have to just take my word for it 5,000 five-star reviews on their website from satisfied customers around the world in addition to your brand new amazing skin members of Tej get tons of benefits including at least 20% off the retail price, the ability to customize your box, exclusive monthly deals, pause or cancel at any time, and free U.S. shipping and low-cost shipping to most other countries. And because T. Shanley is sponsoring today's video, they are offering the fellas a great deal. Just click the link in the description below and you'll get 30% off your first box plus a free gift. Seriously, an amazing deal. Click the link to get started today. And I want to give a huge thanks to the guys over at Tej for sponsoring today's video. So we've been together 17 years. We didn't know about Tinder. We've never been on Tinder. We've never been on dating apps until now. We did not know that you want to find photo verified people. Yeah. So we actually got catfished about three times. Ha ha. Boomers, you get catfished in today's day with social media. That's on you, okay? I don't even feel bad for you guys anymore. Now, this is the part where it actually starts to get unbelievable. Here, they're going to talk about how their friends reacted to finding out about their lifestyle on TikTok. Take a look. Never okay. once has one of our friends of 26 years said, I saw that you guys were swingers and I accept you for it. Well, why would they? I mean, it's not like a sexual orientation. It's not like it's coming out as gay or lesbian or something like that. Who gives a fuck if you guys like to cheat on each other like what do i care i'm just here to witness the clown show oh no someone didn't give me the attention i was seeking whatever will i do anyway they all want to follow my tiktok but yet you've been my best friend for 26 years you've ghosted me you don't talk to me you don't answer my text but you think that you're gonna follow me on tiktok no i'm gonna block you and then talk crap behind our backs and then talk crap behind our backs that's what they do unbelievable that they find this to be surprising whatsoever guys honestly it's been a while since i've been in high school right a lot of the people that i follow on social media is really just to see who got fucking fat who's bald Who's doing well? Who's not doing well? Like, this is what it is now, okay? I want to spy on people and drop them in the group chat with the boys to clown on them, all right? I I'm not on social media to make fucking friends. If someone from my high school is watching this video, what up, bitch? Now. Fellas, here's the part where they go live on her TikTok to answer questions from the audience because for some reason people feel the need to pay attention to this and want to know about it. And uh, well, she wanted some attention, so here it is. So do you ever get jealous? Somebody said. I don't get jealous. Um, I have had like two instances where I've gotten irritated but not jealous. Um, I'm very secure in our marriage. And I'll let Mark answer if he gets jealous or not. At the time that I got jealous, she actually had a side piece in my Two of them. Kind. I find it really sad the way that he constantly has sat there throughout this entire video. And he's always just kind of letting her finish sentences for him or correct him it's just really degrading you know what i mean you could see it the whole time like i'm not a fan of calling people beta males but really like this is it there's no other way to describe this this is very very beta as much as i want to default to just saying i don't feel bad for him he's a grown adult he chose to do this like there's still just a part of me that just feels bad he's really really pathetic and I'm not even trying to say that to be mean. It's it's sad. It's honestly sad. From an outsider looking in at this, I see nothing but a dude who is just completely broken inside. He's not happy with this. He wasn't happy with it when it started. And he's trying so hard to just put on a face to get through this video. Tough. 
tough to watch. It really is. Now, here's what they had to say about their lives before they were, you know, quote, publicly swingers. This is how it was beforehand. We just acted like we were just, you know. A normal monogamous couple. A normal monogamous couple. We didn't want people to know what we did behind closed doors because we were afraid of the judgment. But now we just don't care. We're, we're proud to be swingers and yep. out of the closet and yep. yeah. Exactly, yep. Yeah. Again, I don't see why this is even important at all. Why would I care what you do in the bedroom? Why would I care about your sexual preferences? I've never cared about that. I never will care about that. It's really not important to anybody but you. So I don't see the need, this need that they have to spread it all over the internet like this, especially on TikTok of all places, because you know that is the place right now where things go the most viral. Well, actually, I do know why they do it, because they want attention. They want followers, except people that were mean to them in high school. Anything for internet clout, literally anything, even this. Usually by age 22, 23, you kind of stop talking about all this, you know, I, I fucked this bitch, I fucked that bitch with your friends. You know, it's supposed to become a more private thing, but... Here these people are, well into their 30s. You hate to see it. Swinging has changed our lives for the best. I mean, not only are we happier, we're healthier, um, mentally, physically. We don't allow toxicity in our life. Right. We only allow positivity in our life. We're active all the time. We're active. It's made us just more attracted to each other. It's made our love deeper. Yeah, this is him right now. It's literally him. This is a perfect snapshot of him, what he's feeling inside. We're so happy. Everything is great. I'm dying inside, but my hoe of a wife has TikTok followers now, so I guess that's all that matters, isn't it? Well, fellas, that is about enough goddamn internet for today. That was a lot to take in and a lot to unpack. It really, really was. Take a deep breath in, right? Hold it, let it out. We're going to get through this together. You guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments below because I know that the fellas are going to have oh so much to say about all this. And I look forward to reading your responses as always. If you guys enjoyed the video or were absolutely horrified by it, then do not forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome, amazing videos just like this. Turn on your goddamn notifications so that you can be a part of the buzz every single time a new video goes live. Special thank you to my channel members as always for your extra support. You guys are the true MVPs and I could not be doing this without you. Check out Defy Merch down below. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and my second channel. Links to everything is in the description. And don't forget to check out TJ channel in the description and the pinned comment below and i will see you dudes in the next video love you bye stay safe fellas for real